Hi guys and friends, welcome to QS Scripts and Selenium Hybrid Framework session. Let me tell you a message before starting our session. The C is same for all, but some finds holes, some finds fishes, and just some more guys finds you no know, feet wet. Life life is also common for all, but we can get only what we're going to try for. With that message, let me introduce myself. I am Samar. I'm the founder and uh, tutor of uh, QA scripts. I have uh, nine years of uh, uh, strong working experience in QA, manual as well as automation. I'm working as a, a QA lead, one of the MNC in Bangalore. What we discuss today, here are the topics. First topic is introduction of QA scripts. Who are we? Then brief about framework and types. How to select a suitable framework. Hybrid framework, its architecture. Framework features and uniqueness. Then, come, then comes you know, demo. After that, we can have a question and answer session. Without wasting time, let's begin. QA script is online institute for Selenium, SPUFT or QTP, mobile apps automation testing tools, as well as Cucumber and manual testing concept too. Uh, QA script uh, found uh, somewhere around 2013 with a focus as well as uh, uh, intention to share the knowledge what we have gained after working five to 10 years. So the tutors as well as the trainers what we have in QA scripts are all working for different companies from nine to six in their daytime. The free time what we are, what they are having in the evening as well as in the morning, they are going to dedicate for the training and sharing their knowledge. Here we stand differently because most of the uh, uh, tuition uh, trainers will be completely dedicated for the training or maybe for the uh, uh, corporate field. But since we are into the corporate as well as uh, training, we will, we will be knowing be better about what are the different uh, concepts we are using in the uh, current industry, what makes a uh, value addition to the client, so and so. And the same will be get implemented in the uh, training as well. So you'll get to know uh, a row up to mark or, or <clears throat> the, the, the technologies what we're going to use in the current industry. We have come conducted uh, nine online workshop till date. So we're not uh, saying uh, their online training instead of that we're saying online workshop because whatever the uh, workshop we have conducted it's a 100% hands-on experience we have provided. In the sense, we're not just uh, uh, provide theoretical explanation or presentation uh, uh, explanation. Instead of that, we'll give a lot of exercises to the students. We'll ask them to do until they complete, until they understand all the concept uh, without uh, any issues. We'll not go further for them. We'll sit back and we'll solve their issues. Then if they are comfortable with the uh, scripting if they are comfortable with the concept then we'll move on to the next chapter it's as good as uh, sitting in front of you and uh, teaching what is wrong what is right hence we are saying this is an you know, online workshop uh, we have trained uh, uh, 10 plus sorry 100 plus students who have joined from uh, different uh, 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 countries such as USA Canada Dubai Singapore Chennai Hyderabad as well as Bangalore. Uh, we have uh, created uh, uh, 40 plus hours of comprehensive videos and we have uploaded in YouTube and they have made it as a public. You can watch uh, those videos in uh, YouTube by searching uh, uh, keyword called QA script. Without space, you can just type it QA script, then you will be able to uh, get all the videos what we have uploaded. Uh, you can also subscribe so that uh, whenever we upload a new video, you will get a notification as well. 
the videos what we uploaded uh, has uh, been viewed almost 24,000 people as of now. So this is a snap post shows how many you know subscri subscribers we have in YouTube as well as the number of views. Uh, also, we provide uh, step by step guides in terms of uh, PDF, in terms of Word, in terms of you know presentation. If you need any help or any information about uh, 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 Selenium, Core Java, QTP, you can mail us or call us so that we will provide whatever the guidance we can to you. We are also giving help uh, uh, 24 bar 7 to the people. You can uh, uh, WhatsApp, you can uh, mail so that uh, usually immediately we can reply back with the you know, possible solutions. Let's have a look at uh, what uh, types of frameworks uh, we had uh, in the olden days and uh, now. In the olden days, uh, there was a, a, a very limited knowledge about uh, uh, automation uh, tools as well as you know, a concept. As uh, uh, we got uh, automation tools such as SP, QTP, almost you no know, uh, 10 to 15 years back, there we used to have record feature and uh, uh, record the functionality of the application and just run it straightly. It's a uh, you know, linear uh, uh, approach what we used to follow without worrying about the reusability of the uh, code. So uh, one script, one manual test case will be having one script which is you know, uh, starting from uh, login to end, it's, you know, end to end scenario. If you want to automate second uh, uh, test case, same steps you used to repeat. So it's a uh, kind of a linear framework, there was no much uh, reusability. Later, uh, 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 someone uh, thought that why you should not use uh, already exist or already written functions in the current uh, you know, script so that we can save a lot of time and effort. So they started grouping uh, similar functionality. For example, think that there is a login functionality, think that there is a logout functionality, think that there is a you know booking a ticket. So for that booking a ticket, there are you know, 10 test cases. So like that, they have started uh, grouping and they are started uh, modularizing uh, each and every functionality and uh, record and automate. So that's where the modular framework uh, comes in the picture. In the sense, uh, uh, there we have uh, reusability, but not exactly in, uh, as in other uh, uh, framework. Uh, then people uh, started thinking, why can't we run one script on uh, uh, application using multiple test of set data. For example, I have automated login to Gmail. So uh, I will log in with the user ID password that is related to me. And I want to do login uh, the user ID password which is related to someone. In the sense we are sitting in the US. So the test data is going to say, but the uh, uh, functionality is going to be uh, uh, sorry, test data is going to be different, but the functionality is going to be same. So in that way, they started thinking about data-driven testing. I'll uh, you know explain in depth what is that data-driven testing, uh, what is that data-driven framework, why we call so. After that, uh, people started thinking, you know, coding for each and every script would be difficult for the people who are uh, uh, very new to the scripting or uh, non uh, uh, no technical guys. So in order to avoid that you know scripting more and more they have come up with a excel centric framework where all the activities can be passed from excel sheet it may be data or it may be a function whatever the excel sheet is going to play important role in order to create or modify the script so there we used each and every method or function as a keyword and we used to pass from excel seed so that's where uh, it comes like a keyword driven framework of course i will explain more about it also uh, nowadays uh, people started thinking uh, uh, you know some of the application which will be uh, uh, having complex scenario where we need to pass more number of our test data for some uh, uh, scenarios we need, we need to go and verify elements and the functionality in that uh, uh, phase, people started combining keyword-driven as well as the data-driven functions, as well as you know uh, the, the the best uh, properties, and they have come with a hybrid framework. So regarding uh, hybrid framework, keyword-driven framework, 
as well as the data driven framework i will explain in detail in the coming slides so these are all uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, frameworks uh, we followed uh, you know in the qr automation using any tools it may be spft or selenium it's you know, independent of uh, tools i have asked uh, uh, so many times the same question how to select a suitable framework for example i have uh, uh, 100 test cases i have got one application i want to start uh, automation uh, uh, for that particular application how to start and what uh, framework is suitable for your application see uh, the selecting a framework whether it may be data driven keyword driven or hybrid driven it all depends upon the the nature of application how it works what actually need need to be uh, tested so in order to make you guys uh, understand uh, i have used one simple application which is uh, uh, bookmyshow.com i think most of uh, you guys have already used bookmyshow.com to book the movie ticket right so here i'll uh, show what are the different uh, flows i can automate as soon as you uh, use bookmyshow.com you will be uh, uh, prompting one pop up to select the city right after selecting city next comes uh, you know selection the selection of movie as well as date when you select movie and date then you can select the theater and a time so this is a, a scenario i would like to automate let me say yes i have automated and i have come up with a one script which is going to uh, uh, test all these steps and i want to test with the uh, one test data for example i want to pass the test data which is related to bangalore when i select city as bangalore all the uh, uh, movies which are uh, uh, present or getting screened in the bangalore city will be listed out in the uh, drop down called movie right so i have to select uh, which are present in the bangalore city which are getting screened in the Bangalore city. Let me select Terminator as a movie. Then I have to select date. Let me select as uh, today. And uh, later it will ask you to select what uh, theater you would like to, what time you would like to watch the movie. So here uh, is uh, I will select one of the best uh, uh, movie uh, theater is Forum Mall in Bangalore. So this is a test data. If I execute uh, the test, the test script will use uh, the data which is related to Bangalore and it will success but we can what I want to do is why can't I use a test data which is related to Hyderabad there also I'm using bookmyshow.com so let me use the test data of Hyderabad and let me see whether the application is working fine or not for that particular data let me run this same script for Chennai for Hyderabad for Delhi or different uh, uh, cities which are present in the uh, uh, in India because the same application is being used from uh, different uh, uh, cities so if I want to uh, go for uh, uh, test data which is related to Hyderabad what happens the movie in Hyderabad may be different from Bangalore right here uh, a terminator is getting a, a, a screen there bahubali may, might be uh, the one which is getting uh, you know screened as a movie and uh, here in bangalore we have pvr sorry uh, forum the same theater may not be there in uh, hyderabad for that we, we may need select may to we may, we may need to select some other theater so this is what the data which is related to hyderabad the same data can be passed to, to the script which is already written and we can execute likewise we can pass the data which is related to uh, chennai so here the script is same but the test data is going to pass if, if i want to uh, execute uh, uh, the same script on all the data yes we can pass in the excel sheet row by row first row the data which is related to bangalore second row the data which is related to hyderabad third row which is the, the data which is related to chennai so now the script is going to hydrate three times the based upon number of rows we have we are going to pass it in excel sheet those many times the script is going to hydrate in the sense the data is going to make a script hydrate multiple times the data is going to drive your script hence here the uh, uh, name comes as a data driven framework here the more focus is goes to data 
uh, if your application is uh, like this it, it has uh, you no know, so many drop downs so many links so many radio buttons and once you select one drop down it will uh, 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 display one more section of uh, uh, function one more section in your page there you will be having you know uh, 10 to 20 uh, links or other elements like that if you if your if your if your application is like that if, if your application is depend upon the uh, uh, sets of test data then it is better to go for data driven framework and you can pass that uh, different uh, test data from excel sheet and you can make one script execute on different sets of test data so this is what we call as data driven framework where data is going to play important role then there is another type of uh, you know uh, framework for the different uh, uh, applications let me take one more application and uh, some of the scenarios i'll take uh, one uh, famous application uh, that is facebook.com i think most of you guys might have used uh, the facebook so here i want to come up with a uh, three different uh, test script what uh, they are all here first i want to log in after logging i want to upload then sign out so this is a one test case i want to come up with as a automated script the second test case what i would like to do is login save the photo then log out the third test case what i would like to do is like the photo means first login then click on like button then sign out so login and sign out are common but the components between these two are going to different so if you want to automate what happens first we'll automate uh, login where you'll pass uh, uh, username and password then click on login button before uh, you do this uh, coding what you'll do you will verify whether edit button of a uh, username password is present or not if it is present then you will uh, uh, script it to enter in, enter a data into that then you will click on login after login what you'll do you will verify whether upload photo link is present or not if it is present then you will click on and you will pass the path of a photo then you will click on ok so that will get uploaded then you will sign out same for share photo first you will verify share button then you will click on uh, share button and you will verify whether the photo is shared or not and log out the third scenario if you want to have it you will do the same thing like login then you will verify link buttons like button then you will click on like as soon as you click on like this will become uh, like uh, unlike button then we'll verify and sign out so here if you closely observe more than test data verification of each and every element uh, navigating from one page to another page and uh, 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 validating the complete functionality is the uh, uh, main uh, uh, point here here if you look at data we are passing username password and the path of the photo it's not necessary to change the uh, uh, path of the file again and again it's only we're going to check it whether the upload photo functionality is working fine it may be uh, uh, photo one photo two or photo two photo three so the photo will remain same but the functionality we want to test it out here so here we're not uh, giving more concentrated on data but we're giving more concentration on functionality and uh, in order to come up with the uh, you know, script what we'll do we'll write one method as login second method as you know uh, upload photo third method as uh, share photo uh, fourth method as like photo then uh, last method as sign out so these are the method what we'll do we'll make that as a key key the key is nothing but the name of the method we'll use it and we're we'll going to call in the excel sheet row by row first row i will say login second row i'll say uh, uh, upload photo third row i'll say sign out so this is a one test case if i want to automate uh, uh, share photo i will do same thing first uh, uh, keyword i will use is uh, login second keyword second second row i'll use a method called share photo then sign out so here the uh, keywords what we have uh, uh, created as a method we're going to use in a sequence by that sequence a test script is going to uh, uh, form and execute based upon the formation based upon the sequence of your methods in the excel sheet the script is going to 
drive so the keywords are going to drive in this uh, you know, particular framework that's why we call that as a keyword driven framework so if your application is uh, 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 having more of uh, uh, functionality verification if your test cases are more manual test cases are more of uh, uh, functionality verification element verification rather than uh, data input then it's better to go for keyword driven framework so after this uh, people uh, 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 started facing one problem is there are some complex application in that some functionality need more and more data some functionalities uh, are not uh, worrying about to test data means more of functionality so in that kind of uh, uh, situation in that kind of application what we can do we can use hybrid framework where we're going to use a keyword as well as a data driven framework uh, in one uh, framework that is what we call as a hybrid framework here i'll show what is the architecture of a, a hybrid framework i have created and uh, the framework design may be different from person to person company to company there is no thumb rule that we have to create a framework in this way only it's up to the company up to the tester and uh, his uh, skill set so this is the architecture of my framework you created using selenium web driver and other open source tools i am using eclipse as a editor in that eclipse i have added all the required jar files such as selenium jar files apache py jar files are so and so using a, a jar a java uh, code i have created two methods sorry classes one is driver script another one is base test base test is nothing but a class this is going to have all the reusable methods for example logging into the application launching the application closing the browser clicking on a button so these are you know these are the methods we're going to repeatedly use for any number of uh, uh, test script right so we'll identify first what are the features so we can uh, use it as a reusable those reusable methods we're going to write it in the base test for example reading the uh, excel sheet so if you write one method, you can use the same method for n number of uh, Excel sheet because there we're going to pass a part of the file as a parameter. Sheet name is a parameter like that. So the reusable methods uh, we have written in base test and we have, we have created one more class called driver script. So this is extended to base test in order to use all the methods present in the base test so in the driver script what happened we have used uh, uh, methods such as reading the excel sheet and uh, keywords uh, such as uh, click on button verify button so on so i will show that uh, structure later but as of now just have an overall uh, idea that in, in, in eclipse we have written two uh, classes that is one is driver script and another one is a uh, uh, base test the driver script as well as base test have a, a, a relation established between these two using a extend a, a keyword that is a, a, the oops concept a, a, we have used out here in order to make a, a parent as well as you know child class then comes a, a, the set of excel sheets we have used two excel files one is uh, uh, the named as master sheet another one is uh, uh, named as test data so the master sheet is nothing but where we'll be having test cases as well as the steps which are required to automate like first step i want to enter password sorry username second step as you know enter password third step to click on login button so these sequences i have used in a uh, uh, seat uh, as row by row so that it will execute for these rows we need the data right that data i am going to get from another uh, seat called test data i will show that also uh, once we uh, start a demo and once we open the eclipse so all these uh, three uh, uh, are whatever the uh, input data files we have used they will pass the data to eclipse in eclipse we have a driver script and base test the data which is coming from excel sheet is going to use it for the 
uh, uh, driving purpose and after execution it will generate a advanced report where it will show how many passed how many failed in uh, uh, pie chart as well as in steps so the report will be very comprehensive and it will be in terms of html and you can send the same html to the client as a proof of uh, uh, execution not only this this framework will uh, generate or create a video this video will be having uh, uh, the record of your screen what happened when we start execution so the execution will be recorded as a video and it will be a kind of proof you can send it to your management as well as uh, the client so that they can know how the script have been executed what are the uh, script passed and failed so and so let me take uh, 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 one more minute to, to explain what are the you know, features or uniqueness of this particular framework so the first point is we can uh, use this framework to execute the script not only on one browser but we can use it for multiple browsers means the same script can be executed on uh, ie firefox chrome as well as safari and we can uh, execute all of them in parallel in the sense we can make uh, all the browsers uh, launch data time and the one script can execute on these browsers parallelly well simultaneously i can say that the second feature is uh, we have used ad advanced concepts such as a snapshot uh, for each of failure test steps in the sense suppose there's a issue or there's a bug in the application like you know object not found or uh, uh, some error have come at that time we'll take this snapshot uh, we have also some classes as well as methods to take the snapshot and attest to the the, the step where it is uh, failing so in report you can see the step failure and why it is failed with the snapshot information then uh, comes uh, the pie chart in the sense the pie chart uh, we're going to uh, uh, have in the report there are some there are some classes they will create a pie chart based upon the number of uh, uh, fail as well as pass uh, counts if it is passed then it will uh, uh, create a pie chart with the green if there are any failover steps or test cases so the pie chart will be created with the red uh, portion and uh, the percentage will be shown out i'll, I'll show that uh, report as well and final uh, the framework is going to create a, a, a video which is a uh, you know, screen recording as well as uh, the script execution flow will be recorded and it will be saved so that you can play it whenever you want the last slide here in this presentation is demo so here till now we have explained about uh, theoretical part then let us look at uh, what uh, actually been implemented how the code looks like here is the framework structure in eclipse we have created different uh, packages such as input to data files libs reports and utils in uh, input data files as i was telling we have used two excel files that is one is master test suit another one is test data i'll open and i'll show before that uh, let me explain the two classes what we have created is base test and driver script and this excel sheet uh, is going to generate by uh, framework for the ex uh, report purpose i said we have a html report that's a comprehensive report the excel report what it is showing in this uh, package is uh, you know, overall report here it will say uh, test case name passed or failed it will not say step by step why it is failed why it is passed that information will not be present out here we have one more package called utils where we'll be having something like uh, constants uh, we'll be define all the constants in this file then uh, something like uh, enum values and other screen recording uh, java files all the known java files should be added here in the utils uh, folder so let me uh, open uh, driver script first so driver script as i was saying it will, it's going to have a lot of uh, methods which are written in the base test for example in the base test if you look at the methods first method what we have written is something like uh, instantiate web driver this is one method 
uh, and we're going to call by using test in the annotation separate before class so as soon as you start execution what happens it will take the browser and url these are all coming from another file called regression soup.xml so this is a test in the xml if you know what test in the once you create a, a framework and uh, add the test in the as add-on we can use this test in the uh, xml and there we can say uh, the test case name if you have worked with the qc and uh, sp quality center you can pull the test cases to the test lab and execute in batch right the same way here it works so we can have multiple classes and we can execute them as a batch okay and uh, uh, this will be uh, let me explain a driver script first instead of you know, going to a regression show test dot xml because it will confuse otherwise so based upon the uh, uh, methods what we're going to call those methods will be executed first uh, driver script uh, that is instantiate web driver will get executed it will open the browser then it will place the url uh, then we have called another uh, uh, function called you know uh, read data from suit excel so these are one of the uh, reusable methods we have written somewhere in the uh, uh, base test and uh, it's going to have parameters such as uh, uh, file path seat name so and so so based upon the file path uh, uh, the data will be uh, read and it will be passed back to driver script uh, based upon the number of rows we have uh, in the uh, 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 master suit uh, master test data here we are passing a constant called master data seat this master seat uh, uh, test data sorry master data seat constant is been defined the uh, uh, class called constants file like this and uh, here is the uh, uh, path of my master sheet excel so if you look at the master sheet uh, excel let me open that uh, master sheet uh, excel as well so that it will be uh, useful to explain so here is the master sheet excel we have in the one uh, sheet as test suit so here i am passing a uh, path of the excel sheet that is master data sheet and seat name is test suit so this is nothing but the seat i'm talking about here i have listed out the test cases like desktop test notebooks test camera and photos test i'll also explain what is this test uh, using uh, uh, application so what is the application i have used for this demo is uh, no, demo dot .com. so here are the so many uh, scenarios so many test cases are present uh, uh, to test this application but i will uh, use only three test cases for this uh, you know, demo so what are the test case i have created is one test case which is going to talking about desktop for example if you click on computers okay if you click on desktop which is going to come out here okay so clicking on computer clicking on desktop then here will be desktop images you can go ahead and add to cart and book the uh, uh, one desktop because this is e-commerce uh, website and uh, we can uh, uh, pass the data here to short out for example if i want to short a to z or z to a or low to i something like that you can also make uh, 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 display the images per page for example if you want to display only three images per page you can select three or six so and so so this is a one test case like that we have another test case called notebooks clicking on computers clicking on notebooks here again as usual we have notebooks and uh, uh, the uh, uh, short y as well as display drop downs like that other test cases like you know clicking on computers sorry electronics link then clicking on camera and photo so these are the three different uh, flows uh, for manual test cases we have automated and we have come up with a test script called desktop test notebooks test and camera and photo uh, uh, test so here uh, master sheet will be having all the uh, test cases for example we have you know 100 test cases yes we can add it out here with the test case id called tc01 tc02 tc03 here i have one more column called a run mode if you see yes test case uh, desktop test will get executed if you see no 
this test case will skip it will not get executed so that's why we have uh, used uh, some uh, if condition out here something like if uh, uh, get cell of i get cell sorry get row of i get cell of 3 is yes then execute otherwise leave it so as soon as uh, you uh, 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 know if once you start executing once uh, that particular cell uh, matches with the you know, uh, data called yes so this script will get started get it will get start execution we have used uh, data uh, read data from suit excel again and again in order to read the data from different uh, seeds as well as the different work books so here uh, we'll be reading uh, data from one more sheet called test data so the path we are passing out here so that test data will be looking like this okay so let me explain more about here in master sheet we have one test case called desktop test having tcid as tc03 this tc03 will will use and sorry, the tc01 will use for the uh, seat here and in this we'll going to uh, uh, arrange the keywords in the sequence so the sequence what we are going to call like that uh, sequence only the actions uh, like clicking on an element clicking on a link selecting the drop down values or entering the value into edit field that is going to take care how it is taking care here we have used keywords like click element get option or we have some other uh, you know, keywords like send keys if you want to write any data or if you want to submit you want to verify so these are the keywords you can use it here as a cell data and you might be wondering where these keywords are present so if you come to the driver script we have created a you know, case that is switch case and we have made it like click element send keys select option submit of course you, if you want you can add more number of cases and you can use the same keywords out here so based upon the uh, keywords your test case is going to form when you say click element it will uh, click on a element when you say select option it will select the uh, option from a drop down when you say verify element it will just verify and it will say whether it's present or not so here we have used element locators i think you you guys are uh, aware about what is the element locator which is nothing but if you want to identify any element like link drop down book uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, buttons present in the application we need to uh, know what uh, uh, name it is what is the id it has developer will be given id or name or a kind of uh, xpath uh, in a, a html page in order to visible or in order to present that element in the page so that identification will use it out in the uh, uh, tc01 test case and here we are using one more one called test data for clicking uh, on link clicking on a button we don't need any test data so we have left it blank but whereas if you want to select uh, uh, data from drop down for example there is a drop down called short by there is a drop down called a display per page right so for that we need data so that data we are passing from a, uh, a cell called test data here you might be wondering there is no data called uh, uh, name a to z or z to a or something like uh, uh, low to high what I showed instead of that there is a one keyword called short by so where it is coming from where the data is coming from this data is going to come from the data uh, sheet called test data for example you are working with the TC01 the same TC01 sheet is also present here and the keyword what I shown that is short by here is uh, a column okay so the data which is present in that particular column will going to take it out and it will be used uh, uh, to select in the application for example name a to z or uh, price uh, low to high like that display purpose also been shown out here so the same uh, uh, number of for example here two rows are there the test entire uh, uh, test data or uh, sorry test case will be executed uh, two times because we have used more for loops here so based upon the for loop uh, based upon the number of rows the entire test case will be executed so here we have used keywords as well as the data 
uh, uh, number of data i can say that you know uh, the number of sets of test data which is going to drive the uh, uh, framework so we have used keyword to drive the framework as well as a test data to the to drive the same kind of uh, uh, script so this is a combination of keyword as well as uh, data driven framework and we have named it as a hybrid driven framework so this is about you know driver script and uh, base state we have one xml uh, uh, called regression suite xml where we'll be calling driver script here and this will be very useful for the execution for example here we can pass one parameter as you no know, firefox then it will execute firefox uh, uh, they, it will use firefox browser and the uh, script will execute if you say ig so the internet explorer will get uh, opened and script will be executed if you want to open firefox as well as ie parallelly you can create one more test like this and here you can say ie so parallelly ie as well as internet explorer will open and the same script will be executed executed twice on them so this is all about uh, the framework structure how we have uh, used different uh, methods keywords and uh, url so and so so let me execute uh, uh, this particular script and uh, let me show the advanced feature like uh, what is the uh, pie chart in the report and how a video will be getting created to execute in batch mode what i will do i will come to regression suit uh, uh, regression test suit.xml and i will start executing since i have used uh, firefox as a parameter so this will open firefox browser and it will get executed so let me open let me start executing this the script execution is started and it will open the browser and first test case that is uh, desktop test will execute two times because we have passed uh, two sets of uh, uh, data and the second test case that is uh, 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 notebooks it will also execute to two times whereas uh, uh, camera and photo that's a third test case it will execute three times because i have passed three uh, uh, types of test data i will show after this execution okay the script execution has completed let us see what is the report it looks like so after execution the report will be uh, uh, generated uh, out here so this is a comprehensive report before that let me show what is the uh, report.xls do so here is uh, the report.xls uh, i have opened so what happens it will uh, show all the test cases names why it is failed why it is passed this uh, uh, the report uh, what i'm showing is from a previous execution so here the desktop is failed uh, uh, and the uh, remaining test cases are passed so both the reports i have here let me show first uh, how the past report will be looking like so this is a past report which is created today so if you open it has uh, 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 executed all seven test cases you might be wondering there are only three test cases then how come it's a seven so here the test cases or scenario i can uh, tell that is you know uh, there are three scenarios one is desktop uh, another one is notebooks and the third one is camera and photo test but if you come to your data seat here tc01 that is desktop has two sets of row two sets of data tc03 that is uh, notebooks has again two more uh, sets and whereas camera and uh, photo as three different sets so all together it's a seven test cases it has taken so one row is nothing but one test case so that's why it has uh, displayed seven test cases here it says desktop uh, test underscore one executed in firefox if you execute on ie that will come out here and here the number of test cases uh, steps present in the seven test case those are all listed out here and it says all the test cases have passed because there is no problem at all and if you want to know the comprehensive or step by step report here you can click on it will be shown firefox got launched clicked on element called click so computer header link 
clicked on element uh, called uh, desktop link and what is the value it has selected from drop down uh, a, a short by drop down that is name a to z and what is the value it is selected from a drop down called display per page so all the information will be listed out for this particular test case like that you can go for notebooks iphone one to iphone one or you know camera and photo so this is all the report with the pie chart if something goes wrong what happens the script will fail and it will attach the snapshot of that particular page so here is the report which is having uh, uh, some failures so while executing i done some changes in the export uh, for the uh, failing purpose hence the script to, uh, for uh, desktop test will failed so out of uh, seven test cases uh, two test cases have failed because of uh, some uh, XPath issues. Five test cases have passed. So that information uh, will be shown out here. For example, if you want to know why it is failed, let me click on desktop uh, uh, test underscore one. Here, first two step is passed. That is Firefox launched is passed. Second step, that is clicked on element is also passed. But third step, clicking on uh, desktop link is failed. Uh, failover reason may be anything like uh, application is not uh, uh, displayed properly or uh, that particular link is not present or xpath is not matching the reason may be anything but here it will say the element desktop link is not identified on the below image that's an image it has taken while executing and it has attached here as a snap and it's it's also saying failed at the name file name base test method so and so and line number 400 means in this uh, class name is file name is base test in that base test we have a method called action perform and line number has four, 400 this is at that line something went wrong and script failed so by looking at the report you can easily come to know that where the script is failing you can come to that uh, point and you can start uh, root cause analysis so the report is so comprehensive and it will uh, very helpful uh, for the debugging purpose as of now yes we have only three test cases so it's very easy to debug but in real time it will be having thousands you know 2000 test cases at that time if something goes wrong it will be very difficult to find out where exactly this failure happened so if you have this kind of uh, report what happens you can easily go to that particular line and you can start debugging without wasting much time i was talking about the uh, uh, video so this is a video it has got uh, created by uh, framework so based upon the name of uh, uh, script for example uh, there's a script called camera and photo and it has executed three times right so this will be having that video let me open and let me play that so the flow of execution or whatever it happened on my screen it has uh, you now recorded as a video and it has uh, placed with the uh, extension called dot avi so this video you can send it to your management or uh, no client or you can store it as a uh, no proof of execution for that particular release so this is how uh, we can uh, this is how we can use uh, video and we can make our uh, framework to create the video so we have advanced concept of like a video as well as you know reporting part so this is all about uh, uh, advanced hybrid framework what we have developed and uh, same kind of uh, framework we're going to explain to you guys uh, in our you know, uh, training sessions or workshop sessions uh, not only hybrid will be working uh, will be explaining about uh, how to create uh, uh, data driven framework keyword driven framework and hybrid driven framework before creating framework we'll be explaining each and every concept of uh, core java as well as selenium from uh, no, uh, basic to advanced uh, in the uh, training uh, uh, batches thanks for your uh, 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 patience thanks for your uh, presence in this uh, session uh, if you have any questions or if you want to go for uh, online uh, uh, workshop or training please let us know also 
please uh, uh, subscribe in our YouTube channels as well as send us a request in Facebook as well as LinkedIn so that we can stay connected and we can share our knowledge to you guys and uh, it will also help us to serve you better. Thank you again.